Is web development dying? Yes. In my opinion, yes it is. And, and here's, a, here's why. What's up team? It is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in this vlog we're talking about whether or not web development is dying. And in my opinion, yes, web development is dying. Everything is dying from the moment it's created. In the in the early 90s, 90 to 95, like the internet's becoming a thing, people are like, hey, I gotta get on the internet, I gotta get my business on the internet, I gotta get my products and my services and whatever on the internet. HTML was this thing that nobody really understood. There's people out there, a few people who were reading books and buying books and they're really fascinated about this stuff and those are the ones who went out and they started to build websites and eventually they came, they, they had built so many sites that they had like a system or a template or a framework or something like that and it became a product. So they, you get the WordPresses, you get the Joomla, you get the Wix, you get all these other things and then you have people coming on with the specific intent of solving some of what they perceive is a problem. So you've got YouTube where you can upload videos, you got Gmail for, for mail, and you got Google for searching and, and all these different things. And these become big companies in, in the in the game of search, right? You've got Yahoo that's the the search leader. Like they're the number one in search. Google comes along with a new way to to rank search listings and everyone starts using Google and then Yahoo slowly fades away. And it's the same way with web developers. So the, the HTML developer slowly faded away to the HTML and CSS developer, and they slowly faded away to the the the, the single page JavaScript application developer, where they're building a web page, and it's, it all just has to be on one page, and they just move stuff around the DOM with JavaScript. Then you get you get frameworks, and and when we get into the framework area, now we're getting into like employers. At one point, a company would hire someone specifically to build a website. They may pay them thousands and thousands of dollars, but once the site is built, they don't want to rebuild it. Now they just need some sort of system to maintain it and somebody shows up and they're like, hey, right, I can I can implement this thing to make life a little easier. The company begins to sell more products, they begin to grow and now they need to put together some sort of web development team. So they bring on another developer and another developer and they all decide that they're gonna use Angular or React or whatever to manage this code base. As the company grows and gets bigger, you've got companies saying, hey, we want people who know React or Angular or Vue, whatever framework or whatever library is being used, they're, they're looking for people to to, to learn those things because these sites these businesses have these sites and they're already established so now they just need someone to maintain them so you got people who are going out and learning these frameworks and libraries and it becomes a little harder because if someone's just coming into the game and they're like hey I want to get a job building websites and they start to look nobody's looking for HTML and CSS or JavaScript specifically they're looking for react and angular and you know these fancy buzzwords those skills will help you HTML CSS and JavaScript will help you to to learn the frameworks and wrap your head around the frameworks and how they work and, and be able to 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 maintain them and implement them so if you want to go the job route then you start out with HTML CSS JavaScript and then you go on into whatever framework that you want to work on full-time if you want to be a, a freelancer then it's a whole different story you're competing with people who went to college you're competing with people who've learned these frameworks and they're saying I can build these things in these frameworks you just have to have a way to set yourself apart everything is always dying the automotive industry is always dying the legal industry is always every industry is always dying this is what people say but in reality the economics behind it all is that the complicated things are becoming simpler or the or or the the complexity of these things is being covered up by some sort of system like in in the case of coding and programming you've got libraries and frameworks that make it so you have to write less code and you don't have to think as much about logic some some frameworks you don't have to think as much about planning you just you just worry about your core program and the framework handles everything else at the same time inside of these frameworks the companies that are maintaining them, that are making them, that are building products on them, they need people who understand these frameworks. So there is always a route to go. D depending on where you want to go in the pyramid, it's, it's harder. And that could be perceived as dying, right? B before I could learn HTML and CSS and I can go out and find a job right away. But now I have to learn you know this framework at this library and then I'm still competing with a bunch of people who went to college for all different kinds of things and decided they wanted to be developers and they became self-taught developers too and all these different things what it all boils down to is the ability to to understand that that the to go from here 
HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to React or Angular Review or something is going to be a steep road. But there is a lot of opportunity in between that a lot of people are, are going to miss because they're aiming for this specific thing. There's still companies that need websites, just basic web pages. And there's still companies that need that needs custom setups or, or custom designs or custom whatever. A lot of people miss that because they're aiming specifically for the job where they're going to be doing Angular or Reactor View or whatever. And it's harder in those places because you have a lot more people who are looking for jobs, specifically like full-time jobs, than there are people who are looking just to, to build their own apps, their own services, or provide uh, some sort of web development service, or very a, a specific niche part of web development. Like maybe you focus specifically on shopping carts and increasing customer retention, or in, increasing the shopping cart size through suggested upsells and, and down sales and stuff like that. Or, or maybe you you're, you focus specifically on design and laying out pages that drive people through a certain process that results in more sales and more customers. Those are just the things you have to do. Like you have to go from being a generalist to some sort of specialist. And as you progress in your knowledge, then you specialize in something that's going to make more and more money, something you can charge more and more for because somebody else, maybe they're not as good as that or they don't have as many examples or whatever team. So yeah, web development is always dying. Everything is always dying. At some point, the skill that you have right now, the things that you're doing, the things that you're learning, they're gonna become uh, commoditized or the complexity is gonna be completely abstracted away where m most anybody can do these things, right? It's the same, using Excel on a computer in 1980 is way different from using Excel on a computer right now. Before, it was hard, like people were hired specifically just to know how to use that application. And then as things became simpler, people weren't hired specifically on how to use Excel. People were hired specifically to figure out how to implement certain, how to, how to turn these large spreadsheets into like these quasi applications that anybody could use to make calculations and, and do their daily work. Then at some point that became easy. And then you had got a whole nother breed of people who were, who were their specific job is to maintain databases that maintain Excel spreadsheets. So it's just, everything is always dying. Just remember that the best thing to do is to just pick what it is you enjoy doing and learn that and focus on that, become an expert at that, and then go out into the world with that thing. All right, team, that is it for this vlog. If that made sense, leave a comment below. Uh, share, click the notification bell, click the subscribe button so you, so, you, so you subscribe to the channel and you get the videos, you get the vlogs on the regular basis when I update them, when I bring, when I bring new content. And I will see you in the next vlog, team.